the Zimbabwean chapter of the Global Environmental Facility Small Grants Program Operational Phase 6 targeted its support for grant making through the landscape approach. Three landscapes were selected during this operational phase and the first pilot landscape supported was under Shirugui district. The district's landscape is semi-arid but dotted by groundwater-fed wetlands locally known as dambos. For the majority of the district's dense human population, livelihoods are dependent on rain-fed small holder farming. Because of erratic and poor rains, yields are not dependable, so food insecurity is a perennial problem. Consequently, the wetlands are key livelihood sources and are overexploited in many ways. Cropping in wetlands and stream banks are the major vices under this landscape. For example, trees are cut annually to supply fencing material for numerous gardens while there is livestock grazing on wetlands all year round. As such, overgrazing is rampant, deforestation is omnipresent while galling and sheet erosion are prevalent, spelling disaster for biodiversity. Between 2015 and 2019, with support from GEF SGP and its implementing partners that include lead agency WICO, Caritas, SOFA, Bambai and SCOPE communities in Ward 1, 5 and 14 organized themselves to protect biodiversity and wetlands in their localities. As an organization, our vision is that of resilient communities are free from poverty. Uh, therefore, we are led by that vision in terms of our thematic areas where we implement programs to do with the women empowerment, agriculture and markets, natural resource management and climate uh, change projects. Their model of change was to migrate crop farming and grazing from wetlands to allow the wetlands to recover. They fenced off wetlands to keep grazing animals out, created wire-fenced organic gardens, established solar-powered piped water for the communities, protected natural woodlands, established vetiva nurseries, provided alternative livelihoods such as beekeeping, small livestock farming, dairy, aquaculture and small grain farming. These approaches satisfied SGP's thematic areas of biodiversity, climate change, chemicals and land degradation. Combined, the activities implemented by the different communities also addressed the strategic objectives of climate smart agroecology, low carbon energy access, core benefits, and promoting social inclusion through participation of women and youth. The idea behind this silt trap was to protect the water body, which was their source of water for their gardens, for their homes, and their, for their livestock. Activities under Shurugui landscape reduced pressure on the wetlands and woodlands, resulting in significant recovery and regeneration. For example, the wetlands recovered from the previous degraded state, and this was marked with biodiversity, regeneration, and some species that were once extinct came back to life together with cabbing of soil erosion. You have got uh, the exchange of nutrients between the aquatic and the terrestrial. In the water there, there are frogs, there are fishes of different species, uh, uh, species that, are, that are habitat here, and they are very important uh, for the habitat for biodiversity conservation. Human beings also benefit here. This uh, shows that the it's water on the surface, which means there's a recharge of groundwater, and this water is available for, for human beings to use somewhere where they uh, do boreholes. 
The Shirogui landscape projects achieved the following key benefits to both the environment and livelihoods. Nine wetlands covering 237 hectares were protected and there was development of land use plans for the wetlands. 11 solar powered pumps were installed with a total capacity of 5,000 watts. Five masonry tanks and four pump houses were constructed. Three vetiva nurseries were established. 124 hectares of natural forests were protected. Six gullies were reclaimed. 17.9 hectares is under effective soil and water conservation practices. Protection of Mfiri Dam catchment. Four firefighting teams were established together with construction of fire guards at wetland size. Providing latest updates and advisories for farmers on the prevailing weather outlook through agromate bulletins produced by the Met Office. Setting up of an Information, Communication and Technology Center ICT at Chachacha Training Center. Seven consolidated gardens practicing climate smart agroecology were established. Market linkages for the landscape supported by two market centers at Chitora and Chachacha. 42 households are now connected to solar powered piped water scheme. One dairy project is operational. 8,000 Boschfeld chickens produced by a women's group per year. 2,000 cages of small grain seed now available for the community. One drought mitigation silo and processing center was constructed. These benefits accrue to 2,284 beneficiaries that include 244 men, 411 women, 658 boys and 900 71 girls it is these benefits that incentivize the protection of the wetlands, soil, water, and biodiversity species. This uh, Shurugu landscape has been able to score results both on the environment as well as on the economic and social fronts. And it has been able to even show how communities can take control of their development efforts and can be able to change not only the environment but also their livelihoods if they are given the capacity and the platform to work. As such, the Shirubi landscape projects provide testimony to a successful model of rural development and environmental conservation and lessons learned from this landscape will be replicated and scaled up in other landscapes to be supported in future operational phases.